Intel plans to release the 14th generation of desktop processors in the next few months. In this video, I will provide you with all the relevant information so you can make an informed decision on whether you should wait for the 14th gen to launch or just buy an Intel 13th gen or a Ryzen processor now. That includes the 14th gen specifications, performance, release date and price. But first… CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. At this point, it is absolutely clear that Intel's 14th generation of desktop processors will feature a refresh of the Raptor Lake architecture found in the current 13th generation processors. So we won't see the highly anticipated Meteor Lake architecture on desktop this year. Although Meteor Lake will arrive to laptops. So if you are in the market for a new laptop, then the 14th gen Meteor Lake based laptop is certainly worth waiting for. It is most likely that Intel will reveal both laptop and desktop 14th gen processors during the innovation day on September 19th. The 14th gen i5, i7 and i9 desktop processors will have exactly the same configurations as their 13th generation counterparts. Same number of cores, etc, etc. However, the flagship i9-14900K will get a core clock frequency increase. The CPU samples are still being evaluated, but current results point towards Intel settling for a 6.2 GHz boost on the 14900K. That is 0.4 GHz more than the i9-13900K or just 0.2 GHz more than the 13900KS. No doubt, other 14th gen CPUs will also get a bump in their core clock speed. Other than that, the 14900K will continue using the current generation Intel 7 node and feature 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores for a total of 24 cores and 32 threads. As for the power consumption, we don't know the exact numbers yet, but there is no reason to believe that it will be any better than on the current 13th generation of processors meaning the 14900K will most likely remain a very power-hungry CPU, requiring a big and expensive cooler to keep the core temperature in check. Now let's talk about the most important thing, the performance. This information comes from Moore's Law is Dead, who is very well connected when it comes to sources working on the upcoming products at Intel. The sources claim that we should expect the 14th gen processors to bring a 4 to 8% single thread and 8 to 15% multi thread performance increase compared to the current Intel 13th generation CPUs. And here is what I expect the gaming performance increase to look like. Basically, I expect the 14900K to deliver performance similar to what the Ryzen 7000 X3D series processors offer right now. It is worth noting that the Ryzen 7 7800X3D is much more power efficient than the i9-13900K, which I expect will match the 14900K in terms of power consumption. So if you are looking for a gaming-focused CPU, then the 7800X3D is still the best option. You can buy it for $439 in the US, $413 British pounds in the UK or €467 Euros in the EU. I'll leave the links in the description below if you are interested. This brings us to the price of the Intel 14th generation. These processors are manufactured on the Intel 7 node. That is the same node used to produce the current generation of Intel processors, so don't expect prices to be any different than they have been during the 13th generation. I expect the i9-14900K to launch with a price tag of around $630, which actually makes the 13900K a good option at its current price of $569. Moving down the stack, expect the i7-14700K to cost around $420 and the i5-14600K around $330. Of course, the prices will most likely come down over time to around the same level as the 13th gen sells at right now. 
That is the most likely scenario since the demand for consumer-grade PCs is still low with no change in sight. Intel will be forced to drop the 14th gen prices eventually, but it may take months for that to happen. Hence why I think the 13th gen and Ryzen 7000 series are a better option. One good thing about the Intel 14th generation is that it will be able to use the existing 600 and 700 series motherboards after a BIOS update, making it an easy upgrade path for Intel 12th and 13th generation processor owners. Of course, if you think that it is even worth it. I recommend either skipping the 14th generation or grabbing one of the discounted 13th generation processors. AMD alternatives are also worth having a look at, because the Ryzen 7000 series processor prices are pretty low right now. Let's not forget that Intel is on track to release the 15th generation of desktop processors later next year. I've made a video covering this topic. It should be on your screen now. So check it out next if you are interested in learning why it may be a good idea to wait for the 15th gen instead of upgrading to the 14th. Let me know what you think about the Intel 14th gen in the comments. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video then reward it with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.